hello everyone welcome back to our channel it's me again teacher jess for another learning so for today i am going to show you on how i made my portfolio for ldm2 course for teachers let's go so this is my title page Okay, I just write there the school and of course LDM2 course for teachers practicum portfolio for school year 2020-2021. Of course, my name. So since it is a portfolio, uh, just like a scrapbook, it's not really a formal compilation. So you have the free will to design whatever design you wanted to have. So for me, I just put there my picture. And if you don't like to put yours, then it's up to you then. Okay. Next are the contents of my portfolio. So instead of writing there table of contents, I write there what's inside. So the contents are the following. First, you have your individual monitoring plan. You have the next, the lesson plans, the LP, the LL, or weekly home learning plan. The third one, is the teacher made or modified learning resources the fourth are the certificates of participation in any professional development activities and you will also have the fifth your reflective summary then the sixth will be engaging learners for their progress and achievement then the next is the professional engagement and the last will be the engaging stakeholders in the teaching learning process. So all of this will be discussed step by step as we go along uh, with each um, page in this uh, presentation that I am going to show you. The fact that we have is the individual learning monitoring plans. So the professional standards or strand under this artifact is the learner's gender, the needs, the strength, the interest and experiences of the learner. Now, my attachment here is the individual learning monitoring plan form that I used for my students. Okay, I have two examples here, two students, um, two of which yung pinaka nangangailangan talaga ng kalinga natin gabay um, para may pagpatuloy yung learning process ng mga bata. So, under this form, you will be able to see of first here in this column, you will be able to see the learning area and you will also have the learning learner's needs. Kung ano yung pangangailangan ng bata, kung uh, siguro uh, hindi siya hindi siya nakakaintindi doon sa module 1 or module 2 or any module na ibinigay natin, then makikita rin on the next column kung ano ang ating ginawa. Kung ano yung strategy or intervention na ibinigay natin doon sa bata. Then also, then on the next column, you will be able to see the date. Kung kailan nangyari yung intervention or yung monitoring na ginawa natin. Then, of course, makikita din on the next columns will be the learner's uh, status. Makikita dyan, ilagay natin kung if there are significant or insignificant progress na nangyayari doon sa bata. So, gagawin natin ito from first quarter until fourth quarter. Makikita natin ang progress ng bata in each grading period. So, in my case, I only attach two examples here para sa attachment ko. Then, at the end of the artifact, magbibigay tayo ng annotation. We will just explain briefly the process on how we made our um, intervention uh, plan and with the monitoring plan na ibinigay natin or paano natin in-apply yung monitoring plan natin. So, dyan. Next artifact is the 
lesson plans, DLP, DLL, weekly home learning plans, and the likes. So, the professional standard under or the professional standards or strand under this artifact are this. So, we have the learners in difficult circumstances, the planning and management of teaching and learning process, Okay, we also have the learning outcomes that is aligned with the learning competencies. We also have the design, selection, organization, and utilization of assessment strategy. I attach there my DLL or my uh, weekly learning log. Weekly learning log ito, one week for, this is for my one week log. But I have here, as you can see, my daily from Monday to Friday undertakings. Makikita dyan. I also attach here my uh, detailed lesson plan during my demonstration teaching. So, makikita din dyan how I apply the different strategy. Of course, with the use, with the application of ICT. And also, this detailed lesson plan is aligned in our MELC, mathematics of course, MELC, and then um, I also um, indicate here, I also have my rubrics here, and also my assessment. And most especially, you can see it here, now this lesson plan is aligned with the RPMS tool that we are using and after my attachment i have here my annotation under number two artifact so i just explained here briefly the process how i um run my plan this artifact is the teacher made or modified learning resources. So the professional standard or strand under this artifact is the teaching and learning resources including ICT. So dito, we will just show what are those learning resources that you made as a teacher during this school year. So in my case, uh, together with my co-teacher in mathematics, we come up with or we developed a YouTube channel then we also made some uh, educational videos, of course, in mathematics that is based on our weekly modules. And then we upload it on YouTube. Then we send it to our students over Facebook Messenger. We also have another attachment um, during the radio broadcasting. Okay, as I was also one among the radio broadcasters that brought the learnings to where the learners are. So, we also have our annotation here. I just explained briefly my, my experience during the broadcasting uh, wherein from a teacher, in an instant, we became radio broadcasters. And so, in here, we recorded lessons following the weekly modules and then gave it to the radio station, the XVD, then they aired that during our time slots. Another attachments that I have here in this particular artifact is that the, the different platforms that I use during the teaching learning process. So first I have here my Google Forms. I am sure you know already what is this all about. I also have my Mentimeter. I also have the Picker Wheel. This is for, for forming groupings, pickerwheel.com. I also have my Kahoot, which is the most popular application, the most popular platform. I also have the Quizzes. Then, I also tried the Nearpad Time to Climb and of course the most popular, one of the most popular also, the Facebook in which 
I contacted or I reached out to my students uh, using the Facebook Messenger. So with that attachment, I also gave my annotation. Artifact are the certificates of participation in any professional development activities. All right. So the professional standard or strand under this um, artifact are the following. So first, we have the professional links with colleagues and also we have the professional development goals. So under this uh, artifact, you will just show or attach some of the certificates that you have attended during this school year. So in my case, I attach here the five-day inset that we have last time and I also give my annotation. So you don't need to attach all of those um, certificates that you have. Uh, you will just have the evidence that you really attended the whole week uh, the, or the five-day instant training. Next attachment that I have here is my participation or during this time I was uh, invited as a facilitator during the division training on support of teaching and learning through online and offline delivery methods in all learning areas. So in here uh, I just put my annotation. What are those uh, things that I did during the training and of course the learnings that I have. Next attachment that I have is the this one uh, certificate of recognition also as a resource speaker during uh, school-based lock sessions for especially for LDM2. And there, I have my annotation. I just explain briefly the process and the content during the training also. Next artifact here, we have the fifth, the reflective summary. Okay, the professional standard or strand under this artifact is the professional reflection and learning to improve practice. So, ilagay mo lang dito yung mga learnings mo um, during this time of pandemic. Ano yung mga ginawa natin to alleviate the problem that we experience. Kung ano yung mga naitulong natin para may pagpatuloy natin ang momentum ng ating teaching learning process. So, I have here my reflective summary that explains all the experiences that I have to improve the learning practice that we have. The next artifact that we have is the engaging of learners for their progress and achievement. So the professional standard or strength under this artifact is the monitoring and evaluation of learners' progress and achievement. Then we also have the feedback to improve learning. So under this artifact, I have here my screenshot on how I reach out to my learners through Facebook Messenger. So as you can see, I send them my video lessons. And aside from that, I also attach here a screenshot of my communication to my learners, letting them know that modules are available in their classrooms. And aside from that, I also gave them words in order to uplift them during this pandemic. Here, pictures during um, my home visit in the in the different barangays, wherein we helped the learners or we gave interventions, and after that we will give annotation. Artifact will be the professional engagement with colleagues. So the professional standard or strand under this artifact are the professional links with our colleagues. Right. See there, I have their pictures. Then 
I have my annotations. I describe here how I modeled or facilitated uh, my colleagues. The last artifact that we have is the engaging stakeholders in the teaching learning process. So the professional standard or strand under this artifact is the engagement of parents and wider school community in the educative process. So as you can see here, I have here pictures wherein we collaborate with the barangay captain of a certain barangay and then ask them to assist us during the giving of intervention materials. And also, I, I showed here some pictures of parents during the giving and retrieval of modules. After that, we are going to give our annotation. Yan. So, that's it, guys. I hope you learned something from me today. And, of course, good luck in the making of your portfolio for LDM2 for teachers and if you have some clarifications feel free to message me on my Facebook account and if you were not able to subscribe on my YouTube channel yet please do subscribe and click that notification bell thank you so much for listening bye bye